In this video, I will be sneaking into a five-star resort to use their swimming pool and slide, a resort that costs up to $1,400 a night. But I'll be sneaking not just once, but twice. And this video gets wilder the more it goes on. But to start, my girlfriend Sophie and I flew out to Croatia for a holiday and hopped around multiple different Croatian islands. But we didn't have a pool in our Airbnb locations. But do you know who did? This five-star resort in Havar. So first we had to scout out the location to see where we could possibly enter and there was only one way of doing that. Well, I don't know if this is the way to do it, but we're now scouting by sea. So as you can see behind myself there is the five star resort. From looking by sea, we were able to identify there were two layers of security that we had to get through and that was just before you arrived to the outdoor pool. But there was also another way you could get in. We've done a bit of research and what's needed is a towel. So mission is to find a towel because if we've got the towel, no one's going to question us whatsoever. That's right, there were blue and white striped towels that were given to the people who were staying there. If you have a towel, you get in. Remember that bit of information for later. Let's give it a go, I guess. Let's go. We've scouted it out on the boat now. We think we know the entrance we're going to go into. It's mission to find some towels. We're literally around the corner from it now. So, this is the moment of truth. Can you sneak into an island resort that's five stars for free? That's it. So, how do you sneak into somewhere? Step one, confidence. So you just need to act like you're supposed to be where you're trying to get into. And step two, well, you watch a Vonzi YouTube video who talks about pretending to be speaking to someone on the phone who's on the other side of where you're trying to get into. And this is the technique that we inherited for this sneak in. And just like that, it's go time. Here we are slowly walking towards the resort with beachside lounges and cocktails in show. And as we started nearing security, this is when the fake phone conversation came into play. And successfully passed the first layer of security. They were chatting some people who were already in the resort, so that really distracted them. I like it. And as we approached the second layer of security, someone stood up to engage a conversation with us. Was that it? Was that enough to stop us in our tracks? No, of course it wasn't enough. We were in and we are ready to enjoy the slide and pull. Well, does this answer whether we got in or not? Jeez! Man to the Champions League out here, human and near relegation. The one pop things all local, don't try to come with your intimidation. From I'm the Beckham, I'm the Shearer, and I rep half of the nation. But I'm always on job and I don't want to get locked down in the station. When walking past the second layer of security, I quickly said the line, I can see you. And that just about did the job as we got in. And now it's time to make the most of it. Thank you to Liam Andrews for following me on Instagram. I'm going to be shouting out someone who follows me on Instagram every single time I upload. So make sure you go follow me. Okay, back to the video. Bye. The second part of this story starts at 3 a.m. as we were partying on an island called Carpe Diem, which is a beach club that goes on to the early hours. After getting a boat back to Havar, we happened to walk past the resort on the way to where we were staying, and we had struck gold. A whole container of blue and white striped towels sitting there, just waiting for us. So, Soph went in and took three. No questions asked, get in and get out. A third towel so we could have Sophie's brother Ross join us, who happened to be in Havar at the same time. The following day we knew that these towels would get us in for a whole day with no questions asked. So after last night's escapade at 4 in the morning, finding towels in the resort outside, we thought we might as well go back for one day and have our stay in Havar. This time it should be a lot easier to get in than in one spring with the towel. I think we're just in. All we had to do was strut past the security with our towels on show. No security at the first desk, nice and easy. Now to get the trusted phone technique out again. Are you sat on the floor now, Rob? You only just arrived. You sat on the floor now, come here. Well, I'm not on there, yeah? I like it, I like it. And again, just like that, we were in. On this day, we even had poolside food and drinks as our confidence was through the roof. So I guess sometimes taking that little risk and walking through gets you into situations like this where we've just saved 200 euros to use the pool. Shout out to my man Fonzie for walking me through how to sneak in how place. Phone trick work. 
Mate. Good, mate. It's good to see you, though. Yeah. Yeah. Really see you. I've been waiting for I know, bro. My schedule is better.